thank you very much for joining us. And obviously a great outcome to this particular case, Minister. I acknowledge that. Um, could you just give us a sense, though, of when exactly these travel arrangements for Decker to come to Australia were made? Well, well it, uh, they're not without precedent. So, as I understand it, there are two other cases where a decision had been made because of the complications around the birth uh, that the Nauruans weren't able to provide the services needed for the delivery of that baby. And those two mothers, those two families were brought off to uh, third countries. And uh, that's the same situation as, as, hap as has happened here. Now, no, your question is around... The timing sure, of it, yeah. your, your question is around timing. Uh, now, my understanding is that uh, the protocols are pretty clear that if the Nauruan uh, obstetrician, uh, the specialist up there, can deliver, is confident to uh, having seen and consulted with the mother, uh, is confident that he or she can deliver that baby, that's what will happen. In complicated cases, uh, it is standard that arrangements are made for people to come off Nauru, uh, to come to a third country, including to Australia, and that's what's happened in this case. Now, there are arrangements, obviously, in relation to visas. There are discussions to be had with the Nauruan government. Uh, there are discussions to be had with specialist uh, medical services within, in this case, Brisbane. And all of that takes time. I mean, and Minister, I understand uh, all that. I'm sorry sure. to cut you off, but we are a bit short of time. Sure. Um, I understand all of that, but what I'm getting to is we were told this was happening a week ago. They knew nothing of it, and she was in a very, very fragile situation. So can you give us the precise time at which this was actually organised, and then perhaps tell us why they weren't told about it and were labouring under this very dangerous misapprehension? Well, as I say, the plans are, are pretty well established, and they've already happened for two families before, where... Uh, the doctor on the island decides that uh, he or she can't give the assistance required for that birth, then arrangements are made for that person to come to, in some cases, it may be Fiji, for example. But Minister, you're not uh, answering my question. My Brisbane. question is about sure. why it is you say this was happening a week ago and yet they knew absolutely nothing of it and that was a dangerous situation for them. Well, the, there are services that are being provided. Uh, there are, without talking about the specifics, uh, you know, I'm happy to give you as much detail as I can, but there are some privacy issues. But you've spoken about uh, some of the mental health issues. Uh, there have been extensive uh, support mechanisms put in place, lots of consultations and support provided to this lady. Now, she wants to come to Australia, I understand that. But uh, the government's policy is very definite in this area, and that is that people living on Nauru will not be settled in our country.